It's no wonder that New Mexico is called the Land of Enchantment. Whether exploring ancient ruins, shopping for silver, or just enjoying the ever-changing colors of the sky at sunset, New Mexico casts its charm on every visitor. With varied landscapes that range from red rock mesas to snow-capped mountains, New Mexico encapsulates all of the geological features that attract visitors to the American Southwest. No other state, however, has such a unique palette of light-infused colors, which is why so many artists call New Mexico home. Here's a look at the best places to visit in New Mexico. Number 10. Very Large Array Located on the plains of San Agustin is the Very Large Array National Radio Astronomy Observatory, where 27 giant antennas combine to form a single radio telescope. At an elevation of nearly 7,000 feet above sea level, the aptly named array has helped astronomers make key observations about phenomena like black holes, quasars, and cosmic gases. Self-guided tours allow visitors to get a closer view of the dish-shaped antennas, and guided tours are available the first Saturday of every month as well. Number 9. Bisti Badlands Nestled in the northwest of New Mexico are the breathtaking, barren badlands of the Bisti Wilderness. Located within the Navajo Nation, its otherworldly landscapes are well worth checking out for their surreal scenery. Home to haunting hoodoos, beautiful balancing rocks, and crumbling, colorful cliffs, its fascinating features were formed over millions of years. Once an ancient sea, its tortured terrain is now fantastic to travel around, with spectacular shapes, sandstone sculptures, and scenery on show. Number 8. Cumbre's Toltec Scenic Railway For travelers who want to enjoy views of some of New Mexico's most spectacular landscapes in comfort, there's no better option than a trip aboard the historic Cumbre's Toltec Scenic Railway. Built in 1880, the highest narrow-gauge steam railroad in the country runs for 64 miles between the city of Chama and Antonio in Colorado. Passing over the 10,000-foot-high Cumbres Pass and through the Toltec Gorge, passengers have their choice of coach, deluxe, or parlor cars, and everyone is welcome to enjoy the open-air gondola. Number 7. Bandelier National Monument Encompassing canyons and mesas, Bandelier National Monument was home to the ancestral Puebloan people between 1150 and 1550 AD. Located in Frijoles Canyon, south of Los Alamos, the monument has a broad array of restored and unexcavated ruins, a museum displaying archaeological artifacts, and a wilderness area that includes 70 miles of hiking trails. The two-mile-long Main Loop Trail leads past the site's famous cliff houses, where visitors can climb ladders to reach small alcoves perched 140 feet above the canyon floor. Number 6. White Sands National Monument One of the most unusual landscapes in New Mexico, the White Sands National Monument covers a huge area of sand dunes in the southeastern section of the state. The lands are composed of 8 billion tons of gypsum crystals blown in over millions of years from an ephemeral lake rich in mineral content located in the western part of the monument. 
The well-marked 16-mile-long Dunes Drive near the Visitor Center includes designated parking areas where visitors can stop and explore the dunes. Number five, Albuquerque. Located near the center of New Mexico, Albuquerque is the state's most populous city and one of its oldest municipalities too. Founded on the banks of the Rio Grande in 1706, the city is best known today as the site of the International Balloon Fiesta held each year in October. The new Balloon Museum features exhibits about the history of ballooning, while the Albuquerque Museum of Art and History explores the city's cultural past. Number four, Chaco Canyon. Located in northwestern New Mexico, Chaco Canyon National Historic Park boasts the most extensive collection of ancient Pueblo ruins in the United States. Between 900 and 1150 AD, the nine-mile stretch of canyon was the center of civilization for the ancestral Puebloan people. Sandstone blocks and timber were hauled from great distances to build structures up to four stories in height. One of the signature features of Chaco is a narrow, steep-walled butte that rises about 400 feet above the canyon and includes several small cliff dwellings in its higher regions. Number three, Carlsbad Caverns. Located 25 miles from a former ranch town, Carlsbad Caverns National Park is a network of caverns and is, in equal parts, an eerie and incredible sight to behold. The main chamber of the cave itself, called the Big Room, is impressive to say the least. To access it, you can choose to take an ear-popping elevator that runs the equivalent to the entire height of the Empire State Building, or you can take a snaking pathway into the subterranean abyss below. The Big Room is a cathedral-like opening, complete with a trail and the largest stalagmite in the world. Number two, Santa Fe. Founded by Spanish explorers in 1610, Santa Fe is one of America's oldest cities and arguably one of the most beautiful. It is also the state capital. Building codes require new construction to maintain the Santa Fe style of Pueblo architecture, ensuring that visitors will enjoy the picturesque views from every corner of the city. 
Santa Fe's cultural attractions include the Palace of the Governor's Museum, which is housed in the nation's oldest public building. With its permanent collection of 20,000 works of art, the New Mexico Museum of Art is a must-see attraction as well. Number 1. Taos Situated in a picturesque valley of the Rocky Mountains near the Rio Grande, the beauty of the small Pueblo community of Taos has drawn artists to the area for hundreds of years. The town also serves as a base for several places with Taos in their name that are all part of the region. The most well-known is probably Taos Pueblo, just north of town, an ancient Native American community in a particularly beautiful setting. Ranchos de Taos is a small village that is notable for its much photographed church, while Taos Ski Valley is about 20 miles north of town. Finally, the Taos Box is a section of the nearby Rio Grande known for its superb whitewater rafting.